Hello there guys and welcome, my name is Duda and the name of the game is Pillars of Eternity. So last time we were in the inn, we got Aloth and we got Alexis to join us. Alexis is my own custom character which has this uh, Bjorn as her animal companion. And we do have this last place to explore, Alfra's house, before we go anywhere. Let's see, who Alfra, I guess, and the cat is just a cat, not not called anything cooler than that. Good, good job there, but running. Alfra, so let's see, what do you have to offer us, Alfra? A Darwoodian woman is standing in front of the fireplace, humming a quiet tune to herself, or perhaps to her unborn child. For she is clearly quite pregnant. Clearly? I can see it. She turns her head slightly as you enter. Well, well maybe the Darwoodians aren't that big when they get pregnant. Well, finally, I was starting to think the woman makes a sudden noise once she turns around and sees you. Oh, I'm sorry, I was expecting someone else. Yeah, sorry for just walking into your house and just with like four people with a big beer. We're just gonna, we're just gonna walk in here. Uh, can I help you? I just arrived in the Gilded Vale. I thought I'd get to know the locals. Were you with one of the caravans? Master Odemas by chance? I was, yes. I'm afraid the rest of the caravan is killed. You knew, you knew Odema? Well, no more than most of here, most here, I'd say. He doesn't usually come by this way, but they say he's a reliable old fellow. Wait, why do you say new? Uh, because, I'm sorry, but the caravan was attacked. I was the only one to survive. So yeah, she knew somebody there. Her eyes bring me tears. Her, the father, maybe? I knew, I told her. Okay, no, it's her. I told her it was a dangerous path to take. Kaliska, oh god. Kaliska was always so certain she could take any danger. Take on any danger. My poor sister, I'm sorry, Sunja. Yes, I can't believe she's gone. If only I hadn't called her here. If I hadn't written to her, she might still be alive somewhere. Um, Kaliska mentioned you shot they needed help. Perhaps I can provide assistance? That's kind of you to offer, but I don't know if I can impose this on you. It's not a small favor. Do you want me to raise your child? I'm worried about the baby. Oh god. About the legacy. I told Kaliska as much as I could, but all I know that for a long time now, every child born in the Gilead has been soulless and empty. It's happened to so many mothers, and Lord Riddick has exiled all of them, calling it a sign of God's disfavor. With my Hathorn gone, I don't know how much I'd manage if I lost my home too. Can't wait for her to call back. Why, why do I not call back? Okay. I hope Kaliska could help me. They say Ranga, the old midwife. Knows a way to prevent the child being hollowborn, but she moved south to Angelo's compass two seasons ago. The yearning is too far from me, and I can't make it as I am, but you know anyone else with Kaliska gone? Please, can you help me? I'll find Ranga for you. I don't care about what's in it for me. What's in it for me? That is a Swedish song. Offer blinks, eyes wide. You will? Oh, God bless you here. Oh, she even gave me 20 copper before everything. Uh, you need to trouble yourself with that. I think it's a drink. It's a drink she's fashioned out of. Well, I'm not sure, but I. Yeah, okay, sure. Ansox Compass is what we call the lagoon to the south. You'll have to cross the walls to get there. That's what you're keeping from trying itself. Thank you again, truly. You'll be saving us both. Well, don't don't say that before you know. Maybe we won't be able to save you both. Well, the cat is following me. Good. Okay, so I feel like it might be a good opportunity. Well, opportunity. A good thing to go back to the inn, take a room and um, continue our journey after we've been sleeping because I'm fatigued and I'm actually low on health. I'm, I'm almost at half my health. I think I am quite close to half my health. Can we look inside? What's the windows are clouded with a case of smoke and cooking grease. Well, they, they haven't been cooking anything. How can they be cooking grease since now? Well, it's been, they have been cooking before that though. Okay, so let's see. Let's go here. Uh, how much do you take for a room? Uh, I'd like a room, please. Let's see. Okay, last for two rest, two plus two resolve, one plus perception, and one plus mechanics. In allow characters to rest without, rest without using camping supplies. Sheep are usually available, but if you have copper to spend, you might consider the most expensive, the more expensive option. The bonuses they provide last for a long time and affect the entire party. So yeah, I do think we will be able to get like in between two rests. I would guess that we will be able to get plus like 150, but let's go with this one. Oh god. Oh god, okay. Your sleep is restless and fevered. Assault fevered. Assaulted by hisses and whispers. Blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. 
You open your eyes to waken, and find yourself in front of Gilded Vale's gallow tree. Gallow tree, the creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face is shriveled inward like a moldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side. As you look at her, she looms larger and larger in your mind until she's mere inches from your face. Ew. Suddenly, her head snaps up and her eyes open. They are empty and behind them is vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth slowly parts and with a gust of ranked air, she speaks a word. Watcha! You jolt awake, the foul smelling of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke to the magistrate. He called her an animancer. Though it fills you with a new, queasy apprehension, you feel, co- you feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, if only to confirm she's truly dead. Okay, find a dwarf woman from the tree. From the dream. Uh, in the tree, uh, I guess. So I didn't look, but I think we were not... Okay, talent can be used strongly different characters from advance. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I don't know about that. So today we are arrested. We have laboring's resting boat. Plus one mechanics, plus one perception. So we are perceptive as they am. So we are not supposed to go into the church. We are supposed to go in the tree and look for her. This dwarf woman, I guess, is this one? I don't know. Yeah, she is like... Memings. Let's see, can we talk to this guy again? Welcome to our lovely village. Yeah, but you don't know about that. Can we talk to her? What? Alright, let's try that. The squat, distended body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from the thin, crooked bow that sags at the tug of her noose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck, burn away in patches like moth-eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her, and her lifeless head lolls forward rigidly from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. You perceive a faint glow, th- glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings, but there is a tepid warmth to it, and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it, not with your hands, but with some aspect of yourself that has no worldly dimension. Well, yeah, I guess this is a quest thingy, so... You take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective. As you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out towards the hanging woman, Perceiving all that lies between you and her with new, unfamiliar awareness. Once you have expanded enough to reach her, there is a sudden jolt to your mind. A ringing, electrical surge of Im- images of, and words and sounds. Involuntarily you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman. And when you open them again, she is starting, she is staring at you with eyes clouded in a milky fog. Her body still swaying in a wind you no longer feel from a tree that stands planted in a misty void. The woman gives you a slow nod of her head, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have, have you come, you here, come from here, me? here oh. for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? Yes, indeed. I don't want to know something. I think I survived the bi- biowalk. Do you know why that would be? I-, I need to understand something that's happened to me. How are you able to speak to me? Am I-, I... How are you able to speak to me? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. What choice? Oh, okay. Uh, I need to understand something that's happened to me. She nods, a look of pity on her face, as though as though consoling a child. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there? Well, yeah, like dead people talking. I mean, that is that that has not always been there, I guess, but yeah. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. What's a watcher? I was, wasn't I called a watcher? Yeah, yeah, in a dream she was saying watcher. So what's watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, no. Not I. 
I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Well, that's good then, I guess. Souls pass on. Some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it. Sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls, there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on. And those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. Alright, this is a little hard to understand, I feel like, but I guess we will find out more. A watcher sees though. Okay, so a watcher sees the for. things that, that they're not. And sometimes they know a person for. just by looking at them. Oh yeah, I've been know noticing where that. They've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their honor can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder. When all goes well, can it go bad to look into somebody? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. Other difficulties? Are you talking about my sex life here? Is this it? Am I gonna have difficulty get it up, getting it up because of all I'm seeing? Damn you, disability to watch people. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Alright, beyond the Black Meadow. I think, did, did we see that? Was that to the south or was it to the east? I don't know. So let's see, I think I survived the Biowalk. Do you know where that would be? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Alright, well it was probably luck. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Call them. Those days are all behind me, no? Aww. Well, poor woman. So you said souls break apart over time? Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No, no. Hmm. A very small few resist Rimergan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. She clicks her tongue. She did not click her tongue. I would have heard that. I love how we could be like, am I imagining this now when we've spoken about all of this? It's like, if you are imagining it, does it matter if it tells you or not that it's imagining it? Because you're not going to be able to perceive if... Yeah, well, I want to know something about you. Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. Who are you? And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, but I came here all the same because this was where help was needed. Well, what happened to you, though? I do see that you're... yeah. She laughs. A rasping, choked cackle escaping between rows of buttery yellow teeth, causing her body to bop up and down with each spasm. Seeing your blank expression, she catches herself. <laughs> Come now, such a question, as though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance, a humble pittance. 
I was to examine the Lord's wife, see why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months, looked high and low for impurities, tested her violence, the permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? I know nothing, Caldera de Beranzi, because you found nothing. Nothing at all. A you are the one who know nothing. Head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months time and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. Well, farewell then. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Yeah, it really was. He closes his eyes and her head slumps forward. Stop. Get away, dog. Stop that. Continue. The Crucible of the Soul. Oh, we got a lot of experience. Are you alright? You seem lost just now. I'm Watcher. Yes, I'm fine. That's good to know, but I suppose you could tell me what it was all about. I'm a Watcher. Well, that is interesting. And I expect this has something to do with the hood of figures in the ruins, hmm? In any case, I appreciate your honesty. Since we're traveling together, it's probably wise for us to share these things. Do you know anything about Watchers? Only that they're as rare as that they seem to have unique insights into certain soul conditions. As you just demonstrated. Let's continue on. Seventeen and a half. People in the tree? Is that what you're talking about? Seventeen and a half? I guess. Uh, the smell of pipe smoke at the one certainly... He looks directly in the eye, but looks no, he regards you with a peculiar smile. And a half. No, could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf one. The dwarf one. Yeah. You were trying to figure out whether to count the people hanging from the tree. Yeah. Is that what you people do around here? Go to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't what? think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. What are you talking about? What makes you think I was interested in the dwarf woman? Well, I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice hmm. I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radric at first. Well, do you know what a watcher is? Let's not use that word round here. There'd be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks round here, Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Well, I am. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. And do you think you're supposed? You think you're supposed? Supposes in that one. You think you're going to be yeah, hanged? It's been in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me. Well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. Why was your headman hanged? Oh, he's not talking anymore. Redrix went down here the other day, said it had a good authority someone in town was working with Kolsks, plotting Redrix's overthrow. Said if he didn't come forward right then and there, they'd hang every last one of us. So he took it. Took it. No one's coming forward, so Swithin, that's my headman, he steps up and says it's him. They took him at his word. Bound to happen sooner or later. It's not for plotting against Redrix, then for protecting me. So, the war? Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. Fella decided he's the living incarnation of Oyothas. Overthrows Raid Xeris. Marched on Deerwood, so we gave him a Deerwoodian hello. We blew well. Him up. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, so who is Aeothas? Is a god. God of rebirth and redemption, formerly, anyhow. Maybe they call him something different where you're from. I had a lot of questions. What do you tone does it have against you? That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Aethas worshippers oh. in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there, that was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Yeah, then I know. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethas. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethas isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethas. He enlisted, then I did too. But, uh... 
he didn't make it back. Aww. After the war, people took to punishing Aethys worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. Aww. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. I liked his headman, he was no cool. A concern. Of course, well, yeah, he's hanging as well, too. Townies so. don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Well, do you want to join us? I love glance at you, Lozo. You can see why I was so eager to leave. Uh, if you're next to be hanged, what are you still doing here? Drinking, mostly. Point of fact, I'm on my way out, just haven't figured out where I'm going yet. Not a whole lot of places out there that I don't think Waden's legacy started with Waden. Well, we could travel together. Where are you headed? Some place called Cade no Nua. There's an old watcher there who might help me. I remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of yeah. course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that... There'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And hey. a strange one at that. Strange one? You're the strange but one. Truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. There's a fine reason if I ever heard right, one. then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. Ho oh, ho ho ho, so let's see. Bring Andrew to speak with Marward with what is this guy? He is oh good, he's a fighter as well, it looks like. So damage, uh can we see more about this guy? What is he? he has a lot of things. He has Defender. Yeah, he's just a fighter. Well alright. That is it for this episode. Next time we are gonna Oh and he has knocked down. Yes! So next time we're gonna head north. Uh, I think our party is ready to fight whatever is up north. We're going to get a cook back and we might fight the bear. Well, anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys will join me then. Bye! Hello again guys. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, leave a like and subscribe. And I promise you, you can find another video you might like. Thank you guys and once again, 